Previously on Raider Power, Texas Tech football. Let's just go get this dub. Let's go take what we came to get, all right? Team on three, one, two, three, team! Remember what we talked about all week, everybody count on each other. You go on the road, you gotta play, you gotta play hard, but you gotta focus for the play, just don't be playing. We gotta tackle on defense, offensively, you set the tone. Set the tone with the offensive line. Every play counts, every play counts. Everybody's gotta be all in, let's make it happen. Let's get this thing going. Let's play like we did last week. Let's play with enthusiasm. Everybody play together. Everybody play as a team. This is not an individual sport. Count on me. Everybody's all in. Everybody get their job done. Let's go. Woo! We fight! We fight! We fight! We fight! One, two, three, team! Chance now for the Red Raider offense with the short field. Gets it back to throw, looks middle of the end zone. Caught, touchdown Red Raiders! Eric Ward back of the end zone to get the score. From the 19, back to throw, dumps it on the screen right side, it's caught, and then a big hit is made by Robertson at the 15-yard line. Trips right side on first down. Deggie's gonna throw deep right side for Darren Moore, goes up high, there was some contact, makes the catch, touchdown Red Raiders! 6.37 left in the first half, Red Raiders answer. So first and 10, Tech trailing, 17-14 late first half. From the TCU 30, Daggy back to throw, looking deep towards the end zone, left side, up high, touchdown Red Raiders! Oh my! <laughs> the pass from Daggy to Eric Ward for the score. They, did. they went down, down, and pulled that guy right there. Zoned it, they just zoned the backside. Okay? Any questions on it? We got what we want right now, a one point lead. It's gonna be who wants more? Who's in better physical condition right here? Who's in better physical condition? All right, we gotta keep attacking. Who gonna finish? Who gonna come out stronger? Who gonna be faster? Who gonna be more aggressive? All right, I just heard the key word. Who wants to finish? It's gonna be a dog fight all the way to the end. That's the reason you fight back, though. We got down, we fought back. That's what football's about. Let's just focus on what we're doing. Don't let these guys beat you by making mental mistakes. Don't let, don't let that happen. Everybody know what's going on. Let's go. Let's go. Finish, finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. Now third down and 10. Motioning for motion left to right, Dawson, play action. Oh, he's up the sideline. And he's looking for him deep down the middle of the field. And D.J. Johnson goes up high, taps it up into the air. It's bounced around quite a bit. Did anybody come down with it? Yes, Cody Davis with the interception for the Red Raiders back at the eight-yard line. I think he's looking that direction. Now he looks back, has a lot of time, but it's breaking down. He's going to have to throw to the end zone. Back there in the back corner is Alex <laughs> Torres. Touchdown, Red Raiders. What a game. What a game. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, right now, man. Right now, man. And now TCU gets on the board to take the lead 53-50. Red Raiders get in the end zone. It's over. Let's go. Don't forget how hard we work. Hey, we work too hard. Hey, tomorrow's going to be too late. It was just a, uh, a focus throughout the entire team that there was no, no doubt that we were going to win that game. Blitz look. Play action, throw to the middle of the field in the end zone. Oh. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Alex Torres, Red Raiders win! Red Raiders win in overtime! Alex Torres being mauled in the south end zone by the Red Raiders as Seth Nagy threw a perfect pass to the back of the end zone. Uh, we're a much better team than what we played, but we found a way to have more points at the end of the game, and that's, that's really what counts. You got to, you know, pull yourself together and play as a team. That's all it is to it. If you don't play as a team on the road, you're not going to beat many folks at all. Sometimes you got to win games like that. And we won it strictly by desire. Got in overtime, you really find out a lot about yourself in overtime. I've been in about 10 of them. I mean, they're, they're gut rich, but you find out, you know, who's the best team in overtime. You really find out. I and mean, it all boils down to really concentrating on what you're doing and out execute the other team and understand what you got to get done. And we really played well in, in, in overtime. They scored some touchdowns and we made some mistakes, but we were able to get that extra, extra stop at the end defensively and tell our offense, all you got to do is score to win. And we did it. Good job. Accountability.
It's the last day of on-field preparation for the Red Raiders' final home game of the 2012 season. For this year's senior class, it's just over three months since they gathered on the Jones Stadium turf for a photo to commemorate their final season in the red and black. All right, here we go. On three, one, two, three. This is a good group. It's a very special group that's done a lot for us here in the three years I've been here. It seems like it's, it's gone by really fast. Um, it seems like just yesterday it was my first start against Kansas. And uh, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I, I've, I've loved the opportunity to, of, of playing here. And it's a good time for you know, the seniors to, to battle back and, and, and end the season uh, with a winning home record and, and, and going out strong uh, at the Jones. It's a defining moment in the lives of these kids because it's the last time they'll play out here. It's, a, it's an emotional time when, uh, when you uh, know that something's coming to an end. Now they have six wins under their belt and are ranked 25th in the country as they work towards their last game at Jones AT&T Stadium. It's still about this team. It's still about us going out there and making sure that we get the victory because um, whether we win or lose, it doesn't just affect the seniors, it affects this team. And so the most important thing is make sure that we go out there and get this W for, uh, for the team. I think it's a big opportunity for us. We need, to, we need to be prepared and ready to go Saturday. We won't ever experience to be good, especially the senior day, parents coming, last time to play here. Uh, you know, they're coming down to the end. And so we want this to be a, a special time for them. And uh, we were number one, we want them to play well and have some success. But uh, they also need to understand that, you know, this is it. This, this, is, this wraps up in here and something they'll never get to go back in their lifetime and do again. So uh, it's a special time. Other than seniors, this is also military service week. Everybody knows Ant. He had a tough time. Where was you, where'd you get burned at, Ant? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. In a what, tank? On a Humvee. Humvee. He got trapped in a Humvee. He went through a tough time, but he is your biggest fan. And he's going to be one of the guys that's going to be honored, along with all the service men and women across the country, by the Texas Tech Red Raider football team come Saturday. And because of what guys like Anthony's done, and many more across this country, Instead of coming out here and playing football, they've gone over and put their life on the line to give us a chance to do what you're doing. Go to school, have a lot of easy things to do, play football, enjoy all of it. So that's what, uh, that's what it's all about, guys. And so uh, you'll see a lot of military people around here this weekend. Shake their hand, thank them, thank them for what they do. Uh, it should be a fun weekend. We're going to come out of the shoot now. you got to get ready to go. All right. Anthony, you're going to say one, two, three, team here in the middle when everybody gets around. You're going to call everybody up. Hey, here we go. Hey, y'all get ready for Saturday. Y'all ready to put it on them? Put it on them hard. One, two, three, team! With their work done for the day, the team heads to dinner before they reconvene for a squad meeting at the football training facility. On a real note, man, I just want to tell y'all, it's the last home game for us, uh, for our seniors, man. I want to tell y'all that it's been a pleasure to play with y'all boys, uh, you know what I mean, uh, at home. And uh, we we really gonna we really gonna uh, need y'all out here, man, this Saturday to go out there and play hard for us. So we can go out here and get this W. Because it's not only about us, man. It's about continuing continuing this legacy of this team and this season. Again, I just want to say personally that uh, I respect each and every one of y'all, man. And I appreciate everything y'all have done for me. You know what I mean? The ups and the downs and having fun and everything in the locker room on the field. Just the enthusiasm and uh and all of that, man. So let's just go out here this Saturday, man. And play with passion. Play with emotion. Play for each other. Go out there and have fun. Just like DJ said, I think uh, you know this senior thing. It, it's it's cool and every it's cool and all, but um, when it comes down to it, we still got a ball game to play, and that's what means means the most. And especially for these guys up here, we you know that, all that all that stuff getting recognized. That's that's all gravy. But when it comes down to it, you know we got a game to win. Let's have the most fun we've had all year. Let's play fast, hard, and physical. Hey, leave nothing out there. Nothing out there. Let's go out and make plays. Get in here, let's get a break. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. All right. Turn up on three. One, two, three. Turn, Turn up! up! It's senior day. This being the last home game in this stadium this year, and it's the Military Services Appreciation Game in honor of Veterans Day tomorrow. On behalf of the seniors, I know I don't know if anybody else wants to say anything, man, but it's been a it's been a blessing, man, to play next to y'all guys, man, here in this Jones, man, in this AT&T Stadium, man. It's been a blessing, truly, man. We got to come out here today, man, and have fun, dog. Last game we want to remember with a W and having fun, man. It got to be the most enthusiastic game we didn't have all year. 
all year. You know what I mean? Y'all playing for us and we playing for y'all, man. We trying to leave a legacy here, man. So y'all can finish it off. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go out there and ball for each other, man. Let's have fun today. Let's stop. You got a bunch of seniors out there now that want to go out the right way. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard if you go out there and take this for granted. We got to come out of the shoot. You got to take it to them and we got to play good football on both sides. Focus. Every play, focus. Let's go out there and focus and play football. Let's play for these 18 seniors out here and let's send them off the right way. Let's go. <laughs> Leave it out here. Let's go. Right. Play smart. Communicate on the backside. On the opening drive of the game, the Red Raiders face a fourth and seven from the KU 29. Fourth down. Red Raiders are going for it. Daigie back to throw. Does middle of the field. Wide open. Makes the catch going to the turf. Tyson Williams at the 14-yard line. On the 11th play of the 75-yard drive. Quite a march on this first offensive possession. And Daigie throwing left side has Joaquin Grant. At the two, he dives for the end zone, reaches the ball across. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Joaquin Grant with the nine-yard touchdown catch. Boy, that's an impressive way to start this game. That's what we said this team needed. Later in the quarter, Jayhawk ball, and the score tied at seven. Play action, Cummings rolling right, getting chased, and he's going to get knocked down way back inside the 25 by Darquan Bush. Following the Kansas punt, Tech ball near midfield. Play action, Daigie's going to throw right. It's caught by Darren Moore on the near sideline at the 35 and knocked out of bounds by Brown. The five-play drive would carry over to the second quarter. Finish the drop. Finish the drop. Third down and nine for the Red Raiders from the 17. Back to throw. Daigie looking left, floats it towards the end zone. And oh, oh he's got it. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Tyson Williams. And the Red Raiders have retaken the lead with 14.55 left in the second quarter. 14 to 7, Texas Tech. Still in the second, the Red Raiders with the ball. Daigie back to throw, into the pocket, steps up, middle of the field, caught by Eric Ward. He was on the post, down to the 30, slung down to the ground at the 26-yard line. First down, Red Raiders, big pickup that time. Second down, 10 from the 26. Blitz coming as Daigie steps back, dumps it off, middle of the field, broke the tackle by Kenny Williams. He's got running room inside the 20, 15, 10. Finally drug down at the six yard line. The four play drive would culminate on first and goal from the KU six. Daigie steps back to throw, looking right side Enzo this time. It is caught by Darren Moore. Touchdown, Red Raider. Well, that was quick. Six yard touchdown strike from Daigie to Darren Moore. Kansas answered with the final 10 points of the half. A 22 yard field goal in the final seconds would make it a four point game at the break. So that'll be the end of the first half of play. Red Raiders lead it 21 to 17. The Red Raiders are still leading uh, Kansas down at Jones AT&T Stadium by a score of 21 to 17. They hit us on one play. We give them 15 yards, then they hit us on the unbalanced stack, okay? Then on the last play, we come in, they come, they check and go speed option. That's how they got their big, big plays on the speed option. Hey, we started the game with great energy. Okay, we came out, started with great energy. All right, right now what we're doing is we're the feaster family. We're coming out and we're moving the ball, bang, bang, bang. All right, we're getting stuffed. All right, first downs, got to make plays. We got to get lined up faster. All right, we got to sub faster. If you're subbing in and out of the game, you got to do it faster. Let's run. Let's run on and off the field, okay? When we're getting a mid-line play, 29 is a dive. Three's going to be the pitch, pitch on, on their zone option, okay? The play that's really getting us right now that's hurt us, okay, is when three is back here on the back side. Sometimes he motions in there, and they run stretch, and everybody's just running sideways, and we, and we leave creases in there, okay? We've got to make sure that we insert. Get off those blocks. Stick them in the backfield if you have to. Run them back up in the backfield and then be able to get off of them. All right, keep on the tempo. Keep on the tempo, make plays, all right? Energy in the second half. Don't you give them anything throwing the ball, okay? So get the run stop, the stretch, okay? The zone, the zone read, the replay, and the speed option. That's the three plays that they got. Players making plays, let's go make some plays. Fast, hard, right physical, back. fast, hard, physical. Finish, that's what it's all about, finishing. Just like he said, finish this game, finish this half, finish it up for the seniors for their last time here in the Jones. Let's go, finish on three, one, two, three, finish! finish. All right, listen up. We're in a ball game. Seniors, this is our last half in this stadium. Everybody lay it on the line for every senior in here. 
Everybody, lay it on the line. Let's go. Let's go. The defense has dictated the tempo in the third quarter. Play action coming, looking left, steps up. He's going to get sacked. Red Raiders got him at the midfield stripe. And it's Hyder that was the first one to put an mid on him. And then Robertson helped. That'll force the fourth down. And the Red Raider defense on the first possession of the second half stands up when they need it to. The only points of the stanza would come on Tech's final drive of the quarter. The throw over to that side to Zuzalik, who throws it back to Daggy. He's got blockers in front of him inside the 20. Caught from behind. The nine-play 71-yard drive would result in a 29-yard field goal from Ryan Buston. 28 seconds left in the third. Red Raiders add to the lead. It's now 24-17. In the fourth quarter, the Jayhawks rallied for the final 10 points of regulation. Red Raiders and Kansas are going to overtime. For the second time this season, the Red Raiders would find themselves in overtime. So a seven point lead for Kansas now. The Red Raiders first overtime here needing to match that score. Hey, touchdown, finish with touchdown. Touchdown, let's go. The Red Raiders facing a third and 10 on their possession. Trips on the right side, Ward over here on the near side and Deggy is gonna throw it to Ward on the post. He makes the catch at the 10, turns it downfield at the five and he fights his way into the end zone. No, they're gonna say he was down at the half yard line. Down seven with a first and goal from the KU one. They can just punch one in right here and keep this thing going. And uh, Stevens waits for the motion, then he jumps up over the pile into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. In double overtime, the Red Raiders with the ball first and on the fourth play of their possession. Well, the Wild Raider back in there with Eric Stevens, first and goal from the three. Motion left to right is Torres. And that's the direction Stevens goes on the sweep. No, he's gonna throw it to Darren Moore in the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Eric Stevens with the touchdown pass to Darren Moore. And the Red Raiders take the lead in the second overtime period. Good catch, though. Good catch. That was a bad throw. Good catch. They went to influence and get out, all right? So just be alert for that. Just go play fast, play physical. We all right? Kansas needed a touchdown to extend the game. Cummings coming left, pitches it to Pearson, trying to get the corner, he does it! In there to make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage is Blake Dees. All the way back to the 24, it's gonna be fourth down and nine. The Jayhawks down to their last snap. The snap back, Cummings play action. He's rolling right, pressure coming, now he's rolling left and a throw to the end zone. And the Red Raiders are there to knock it down. That is it, Red Raiders win in double overtime. 41 to 34. Guys, you keep plugging. Even when you don't play your best, you got a, you got a chance. Come down to the end. Proud of everybody. Very, very special. Seniors, thank you. Last time you put a helmet on in the state. And we thank you for what you've done. You won it the right way with hard work and effort and character. Raiders on three. One, two, three. Raiders!